Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you a card control of my own that I call Overlook. This control I put in my book, Beyond Fantasy, and ironically, I think it's been overlooked by everybody who's read it. It's one of these controls that's like, uh, it's a true uh, discrepant to move, but it just flies by and it looks so convincing. In fact, it's based on Lee Asher's uh, losing control with that sort of reverse spread technology. Uh, not my original creation, but this is just how I've adapted that simple uh, pr uh, principle uh, to this control. Let's get into it. All right, so this control isn't really made to fool magicians or the camera, but trust me, this card control really uh, just flies by laymen who don't see card tricks every day. In fact, my wife, uh, it uh, went by her, and she uh, is a type that, uh, you know, anybody who sees card tricks for long enough uh, can start to pick up on things, but she didn't pick up, pick up on this at all, and it uh, completely fooled her. So here's what it looks like. So you have the person just name any card as you go by like this. Maybe in this case, they named the seven of spades here. So we just put it right there in the middle of the deck. Uh, you can see it go in the middle right there, but uh, even though it really looks like it was in the middle just now, it's actually on top of the deck. Okay, so like I said, this is based on that reverse spread technology, like in Lee Asher's uh, Losing Control, and you might recognize it from that, although in this case, it's uh, actually a lot easier, and you don't have to uh, do any weird things with reversing spreads and different hands or nothing like that. It's very, very simple because it's from a face-up spread. Okay, so what you do is you spread through and you have them just name any card. And let's say they name the Jack of Clubs here. And what you're gonna do is uh, take these fingers that's holding this spread, the card, uh, the spread that has the card named on it, and take these fingers and this packet will sort of be squared. So take these fingers and just flip that packet over like this. As that's happening, you also turn this packet over like this towards yourself, so your hand is just turning palm down uh, like this as that's happening. But also, as these two things are happening also, another thing is happening. So as these two things are happening, you want to take your thumb and your fingers and just reverse them like this, thus reverse spreading uh, this packet here. So essentially what you're doing is just switching this card for the face card, right? So, but when you're like this, it really looks like that's still the same card. I mean, it has a really good retention of vision as if that's still that card there, right? Because it, it's right here, and then if it's right here face down, it looks like the same sort of plane uh, where that card was. And although it's discrepant, it still looks like it would be the same card because you see it right here in a fan and when you turn down, you still you still see it right there where it is, where it was, right? So it really, really works. At least in my opinion, it works. I might be a little biased because it's my trick from my book, but hey, I think it's pretty good. All right, so once again, you're spreading through, have them name any card. Let's say they go for the four of hearts in this case. So once again, those three things happen at once. At, at the same time, essentially, so this gets turned over as that's being flipped over. This gets turned over and reversed spread like this. They take that card, put it right there, then they sort of tap these like this and put them there. And then it looks like the card is in the middle, but really it's on top in your full control. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really does truly mean the world to me. And so if you learned something new or if you got value from the video, do me a huge favor, hit the like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.